the occupancy rate as a percentage over a period of 12 months for a new hotel is expected to be represented by a graph below. Now this is a graph of occupancy in percentage versus month. So what they're saying is the first part of the graph is a straight line. So from 0 0.75 to 3.45, it's a straight line. So this is a straight line. So it's all about modeling, okay? So you're modeling the first three months as straight line. So in the first three months, it's going to go down, straight line or line. And for the remaining months, it is a parabola. So this is a, a parabola. So basically, they want us to write the equation of this line and this parabola. So let's read the question. The graph comprises a straight line, which gives the occupancy rate of the first three months. So the first three months is a straight line. That's what I said. Okay. And, <clears throat> and parabola, which occupies, which gives the occupancy rate for the remaining nine months. The straight line is used to model the first three months first part of the occupancy rate and parabola for the second part. So there are two parts of this graph. The first part is straight line, the second part is parabola. So the equation of a straight line is y is equal to mx plus c. You should know that where c is the y-intercept and m is the gradient. So here obviously this is the y-intercept so you can say your c is 75. So now you have to just find what is M. M is the gradient. Gradient is rise over run. So let's join these two points. So if you join these two points, so this is the rise and this is the run. Okay, so what's the rise? So rise is negative. You're going down. So rise is negative and the, this is your run. Run is always positive because it's to the right. Run is positive because it's to the right. And this is your rise, which is negative. So to just read the graph, so you're rising or you're falling from 75 to, what is this point? This is 45, isn't it? So what's the fall? From 75, you're falling to 45. So this is a fall of 30, which you write as minus 30. And the run is from 0 to 3, so the run is 3. So M, which is gradient, is rise over run, which is minus 30 over 3. So your gradient M is minus 10. So the equation of this line is Y is equal to minus 10X plus 75. It's as simple as that. So to write the equation of a line, you need two things. One is the Y intercept, which is where your graph cuts the y-axis. And the second thing is gradient, which is rise over run. And this line is going down, so the gradient has to be negative. Okay, for this part of the graph, you have this vertex. You know this point. The lowest occupancy is 20, and it happens in the eighth month. So by just looking at the vertex, we can write the equation is y is equal to I'll write, use a constant k. It has gone 8 to the right. The basic parabola has gone, translated 8 to the right. So I say it is x minus 8, the whole squared. And it has gone 20 up. So it'll be plus 20, just like that. So when I'm saying translated, I'm talking about y is equal to x squared. If you think about y is equal to x squared, so this is your basic parabola, y is equal to x squared. When you're comparing this parabola, if you look at the vertex, the vertex was at the origin, which is 0, 0. The vertex was at 0, 0. So that has moved a to the right, and it has gone 20 up. Now this k will tell you the stretch factor, whether it seems to be pulled on both sides. So K will tell you the stretch factor. So that's, so you can find K by just substituting this value in this equation. So when Y is 45, X is three. So let's put this back. So 45 is equal to K times 
your x is 3, so that is 3 minus 8 squared plus 20. You have to be super careful in this step, and this is where most of the students do mistakes. So this is 45 is equal to k times, what is 3 minus 8, which is negative 5 or minus 5 squared plus 20. So 45 is negative 5 squared is 25, so this is 25k plus 20. So I want, this has become a linear equation. I'm going to take 20 from both sides. If you take 20 from both sides, what would you get? You get 45 minus 20 is 25 is equal to, am I right? 45 minus 20 is 25 is equal to 25k is equal to 25k. Now dividing both sides by 25, so 25, you can say k is equal to 1. Okay, so the equation is, this equation changes to y is equal to, k is 1, so you don't need to write 1, it's simply x minus 8, the whole squared, plus 20. You can use a calculator, if you have a graphic calculator, type in this equation and confirm this point and this point. So let me show this on a calculator. So we need to adjust the calculator. So we need to know the x and the y axis. Okay. So go to graph and type in uh, bracket x minus 8 the whole squared plus 20. Okay. On y axis, x axis, I'm going from 0 to 12. Okay, and then y-axis, I'll go from 0 to 100. 0 to 100 at a scale of 5. And then draw the graph. So this is a parabola. So g sol minimum, 820. And the other point was 3, 45. So g sol y calc when x is 3. 3, 45. So till here, it's a, from here, it is parabola, and from this point to this point, it's a straight line. This, of course, is a parabola. You can check that yourself.